正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 152, Farce. Once Wan Yinying heard that someone from the family of the Minister of Land came. She trembled as she looked outside. Even though she knew that this matter was not of Shen Dongling's doing, but now all the dirty water was poured onto her. If the Wang family want to pursue the matter, they would definitely start from Shen Dongling. Wan Yinying had only Shen Dongling as daughter, so how could her heart not ache? But her words were lowly and carried little weight. Even though she wanted to save Shen Dongling from the fire and water. She could not do anything. Everyone looked at one another before Old Shen Furan said, "Invite the people from the Wang family in." The Wang family's people who came were a dark, strong woman and a few maids that were of rather high status. That dark, strong woman's face was originally dark, and when she entered through the door, her face was solemn. She had a wide and round waist and made others tremble in fear. It seemed that she was here to attack with condemnations. Upon seeing Wan Yinying crying on the floor in the Shen residence, she was not even moved by it, and everyone had been made aware of that. Old Shen Furan frowned, and just as she wanted to speak, one heard that dark, strong woman saying, "One dare to ask where is Wan Yinying of the second household?" Wan Yinying's heart jumped in shock, and the more despair she felt. The more Chen Rikayu, on the other hand, was relieved. If the other party took it out on Wan Yinying, then the Shen family would definitely not protect her. Chen Rikayu's heart kept thinking to torture this pair of mother and daughter to death, as they dared to set their crooked minds on Shen Yu. This was simply intolerable. Thinking about this, Chen Rikayu went forward with a smile, not hiding from Mama. When one heard about the yesterday's residence matter. We were extremely terrified. It is just that our family's Yuer was wronged for nothing, and your residence's eldest young master must be extremely shocked and angry. With regards to this matter, it is our Shen residence that did not properly discipline and caused such a big scandal. One wished that after the master and Furan of the in-laws got angry, they would calmly think about it. I have already scolded Yuer for being too trusting. This matter is truly very. That dark, strong woman did not cared for Chen Rikayu's words and asked again with a dark expression, "One dare to ask where is Wan Yinying of the second household?" Everyone was startled. Chen Rikayu did not expect that this woman would actually give her such a face, but upon seeing everyone's expression, she still had to maintain the gentle and demurred everyday look. Moreover, the Wang family were the victims. So it was hard for one to say anything. Old Shen Furan said, "The one kneeling on the floor is Madame Wan." Wan Yinying's face was filled with grief and tears, but that dark, strong woman surprised everyone by reaching out her hand to help Wan Yinying up. Not only was she not impertinent or blaming, she was instead rather respectful. Eldest young mistress misses her mother, so eldest master let this servant fetch Wan Yinying to the residence of the Minister of Land to stay. This servant especially made this trip, hoping that Old Furan would allow it. When the words were said, everyone in Rong Jingtang was stunned. What eldest young mistress misses her mother, so eldest master let this servant fetch Wan Yinying to the residence of the Minister of Land to stay. Who was eldest young mistress? Who is the mother of eldest young mistress? Shen Dongling, Madam Wan. Chen Rikayu already felt something was not encouraging when the dark, strong woman held Wan Yinying up, and when she heard those words, she almost lost consciousness. Shen Wan's face sank. What is the meaning of the in-laws' actions? That dark, strong woman was smart to get what she desired, and looked at Shen Wan's face before saying, puzzled. This servant do not understand Third Shen Master's words. Could one speak more clearly? Shen Wan and Chen Rikayu were somewhat irritated. At the same time, this woman clearly understood but feigned ignorance. She clearly was aware of everything but acted confused. Could it be that she wanted them to speak about the exchanging of marriage? Shen Wan and Chen Rikayu could not say it out loud. But old Shen Furan did not have such a concern. She was not originally from a big and noble family, thus she did not know how to be embarrassed. Thus she stuck out her neck and said, "The in-laws are not correct with the words regarding yesterday's marriage. The third young lady and second young lady of our residence were exchanged, and since the bride was exchanged, 
This is the time to discuss how to resolve the matter. How dare a servant like you pretend to be confused? When Chen Rikayu and Xin Wan wanted to stop old Shen Furen, it had been too late. Old Shen Furen always had this ability to always think that she is superior than others, and that everyone had to fawn her. Actually old Shen Furen was somewhat looked down on the family of the Minister of Land in Shen Yu's marriage as she wanted Shen Yu to marry even higher. But in actual fact, the Wang family's position in court and network were all higher than what Shen Wen currently had. That dark strong woman was a servant on the surface but without the agreement of the Wang family. How would she dare to speak such things to the Shen family? Old Shen Furen scolding this servant meant that she was clearly scolding the Wang family. The Wang family would only feel that the Shen family had no eyes and relied on force to bully others. When the dark strong woman heard the words, Indeed she laughed. However that laugh was rather piercing when it fell into Chen Rikayu's and Shin Wan's ears. The dark strong woman said in doubt. What does old Furen mean by that? Where do one start on the changing of marriage? Yesterday eldest young master married a wife and the new bride is considerate and sensible thus gaining the adoration of the entire Wang residence. One wonder why old Furen joke about it. Gained the adoration of the entire Wang residence. Wan Yi Niang was originally somewhat stunned but after she listened to those words, there was an excitement in her heart. All of a sudden there was a birth of exuberant delight. Her Dong Ling was extremely smart and she had a good temperament and appearance. If she was able to firmly hold on to Wang Bai and one night had his protection, so what if Shen Yu enter? Being a concubine was better than being a nun in a nunnery. Moreover Huan Yi Niang believed that Shen Dong Ling would one day make her mark. Chen Rikayu almost got mad with anger when she heard that. This time she did not care if old Shen Furen words were ruled and said to the dark strong woman. What is the exact meaning of the Wang family? If one is angry then just say it directly, why the need of being eccentric? Could it be that one will really treat third young lady as you er? Shin Wan frowned and took a look at Chen Rikayu in somewhat of a surprise. Chen Rikayu's words were nowhere better than old Shen Furen at all, unless it was only absolutely essential. Shen Wan did not want to offend the Wang family especially when it was the Shen family that made a mistake in this matter. That dark strong woman turned towards Chen Rikayu. Third Shen Furen words are strange. What second young lady and third young lady? Yesterday eldest young master married a wife and the person he married is this residence's second young lady. Second young lady is doing very well and there is no saying of any third young lady. Chen Rikayu stood dumbly on this spot. The meaning of those words was that the Huang residents recognize Shen Yu's status and identity but the person was instead Shen Dongling. Let Shen Dongling live using Shen Yu Yu's identity? What was this? Chen Rikayu had almost gone crazy. Shen Yu, who was standing at the side and dared not speak, finally gave a sigh of relief when she heard those words. What she kept thinking in her heart was to let Shen Dongling marry into the Wang family on her behalf, and then paint herself as the victim party and cleanly get off. At the end the one who would be blamed would be Shen Dongling and the one who was at the disadvantage was Wang Bai. She, Shen Yu would be a free person and perhaps could gain sympathy. Although the Wang family did not make a ruckus, Shen Yu was somewhat unhappy that Shen Dongling did not suffer losses, but Shen Yu was already satisfied that she had completely got rid of this marriage. Shen Wan's brows wrinkled tightly as this dark strong woman's attitude obviously represented the Wang family's attitude. The Wang family now wanted Shen Dongling to live with Shen Yu's identity but what about Shen Yu? The Wang family were not such harsh people normally. Could it be that Shen Dongling told Wang by something? Chen Rikayu laughed coldly. All right then, as you said. The one married into the residence is second young lady, then I would be second young lady's mother. Then why would Wan Yi Niang be sent over without any rhyme or reason? Do not you think it is somewhat funny to send a Yi Niang over? Wan Yi Niang looked towards the woman somewhat fearfully. That woman instead smiled, it is like this. Eldest young mistress said that even though Wan Yi Niang did not have any blood relations, she has always been very close with her. Now that one had married over to another family, 
one was not used to it thus wanted to bring Wan Yi Niang over for a short stay, eldest young master's heart ached for eldest young mistress, thus it was allowed. So many lies that were said without change of expression, and also they managed to slap viciously onto the face of the third household, especially on Shen Yu. She initially thought that after Shen Dongling married over, the Wang family would despise and make life difficult for Shen Dongling as she was a Shu daughter. But one had not expected that Shen Dongling would thrive so well in the Wang family. To her, this was like a great big satire. You did not want to marry into the Wang family right? Sorry, the one that our eldest young master liked was also not you. Eldest young mistress was a loved and respected and without you. The Wang residents also lived on well. Shen Yu bit her teeth and was somewhat irreconcilable. Originally she tried thousands and hundreds of way to let Shen Dongling replace her, but upon seeing that Shen Dongling had perhaps gained the Wang family's favor, Shen Yu was not happy. Humans most likely had a queer heart, even if one did not want something, one would not want others to obtain it easily. Everyone in the Shen family was stunned. Today they had expected that the Huang family would be furious upon discovering the matter and would look for the Shen residents to flip out, but they did not expect that the Huang family would have such attitude. Not only did the Huang family not hate Shen Dongling, from the looks of it, they were not happy with the third household of the Shen family. There was nothing but mocking in the open and in between words. Chen Rikayu still wanted to speak more but was stopped by Shen Wen. Since that being the case, I will pay a visit personally tomorrow. Before that, one hoped that the in-laws would be rational and not be dizzy with anger. The dark stone woman laughed. What is third master saying? Currently the residence is bustling and filled with sweetness. Master and Furin are both happy and said that your noble residence raised an extremely good daughter. How would one be angry? One fear that third master have overthink. This dark strong woman was also a talent as she could make Shen Wan choke on one sentence. She then patted Wan Yi Niang's hands and smiled as she looked towards old Shen Furin. This servants will now bring Wan Yi Niang back and hope to have old Furin's approval. Eldest young master is in the residence waiting for this servant to return and report. She actually brought out Wang Bai's name to use. Old Shen Furin frowned as she looked towards Shen Wan and Shen Gui. She had also faintly noticed that what happened today was indeed queer. But Shen Wan was Shen Yu's father and Wan Yi Niang was the second household people. Thus she can only get the opinion of her sons. Shen Gui could not make any decision whereas Shen Wan's complexion turned solemn but he said, since that is the case, then Wan Yi Niang should follow. It is rare for a child to have such sincere thoughts. His words were not positive or negative but made one's back turn cold. Wan Yi Niang was half overjoyed and half in fear. Overjoyed as the Wang family seemed not to pursue Shen Dong Ling's fault and fear because she did not know if the current situation was deliberately played out by the Wang family, or could it be in order to express one's dissatisfaction over the third household intentionally, and at the end Shen Dongling was still the one that will be sacrificed. The dark strong woman did as she said and brought Wan Yi Niang away under the Shen family's eyes. Rong Jing Teng fell into silence and after a moment old Shen Furan said coldly, what is going on exactly? This weird and strange attitude of the Wang family was more disturbing than if they dropped all pretenses. Chang Zai King moved her lips, seeming wanting to say something but after seeing Shen Wan's face, she swallowed the words on her lips. Shen Gui was a little awkward. Initially it was Shen Dongling that snatched Shen Yu's marriage, and he also wanted to hand Shen Dongling and mother to the Wang family so that the third household and Wang family would cool down. But he did not expect that the situation would be as such now. Shen Gui lightly coughed twice. I will later write a letter to Dong Ling and ask her what kind of things she had done. Shen Wan smiled and looked towards Shen Yu before lightly speaking. You er, return with me to the room first. He then turned around and looked towards old Shen Furan. Mother, this matter cannot be rushed. Tomorrow this son will personally go to the residence and apologize. One thinks that there are still ways to resolve it. It is this son's fault for disturbing you. How can one blame you for this? Old Shen Furan sighed and her tone became displeased. It is all this third girl, 
follow that slut and learn all those things that cannot be shown in public. She then reproached Chen Rikayu, if you were serious in managing the matters of the house, then third girl would not have been able to exploit them. Chen Rikayu was filled with a stomach full of anger because of Shen Yu's matter and felt aggrieved. Thus when old Shen Furen criticized her, she retorted, How could mother blame me? I also did not think that third lady would have such thoughts. For mother to blame the entire matter to me, is not it overly muddled? You say I am muddled? Old Shen Furen became very furious. Chen Rikayu still wanted to speak but Shen Wan yelled, Enough! She was slightly stunned. For so many years, Shen Wan had never said such harsh words to her and it was the first time he shouted at her. Shen Wan said, You er, follow me to the room. Shen Yu mumbled her comply. An unreadable smile unknowingly floated on the lips of Chang Zai King, who was at the side looking at the entire scene. Shen Yu followed Shen Wan into the room. Shen Wan's back was towards her and he did not speak. Thus Shen Yu thought that Shen Wan was unhappy with the Wang family matter. Recalling the Wang family's attitude today, and also thinking that Shen Dongling had perhaps gained the Wang family's favor and that currently her identity was also on the rocks, Shen Yu was extremely unsatisfied. She said, Father, that Wang family is obviously relying on force to bully others and is looking down on you. What kind of words were those? In the future if third younger sister use my identity to live, then what do I do? Third younger sister robbed me of my marriage and now want to rob me of my identity. Father, you cannot do not care about me. Shen Yu said those words like it was inevitable and right. Perhaps after saying so much lies, she also believed in them. Currently Shen Yu almost believed it herself, and this matter all started from Shen Dongling. It was Shen Dongling that harmed her quietly. She robbed you of your marriage? Without turning his head, Shen Wan asked slowly. Shen Yu did not hear that Shen Wan's tone was not right and nodded her head. Exactly so. With a crisp paw sound, a slap landed on Shen Yu's face like lightning. Chen Rikayu, who just entered the room, saw this scene and cried out you er. She went forward to hold on to Shen Yu and yelled at Shen Wan, What are you doing? What am I doing? Shen Wan did not get angry but laughed instead. You might as well ask what your good daughter did. Shen Yu held her face as she got up trembling. Even though the slap on her face was very painful, it could not compare to the fear she had at the bottom of her heart. You er, you dare to say you are ignorant in the matter? Was it really Shen Dongling that harmed you and robbed your marriage? Do you think that your little plans could fool everyone? You let Shen Dongling marry on your behalf as you only think about marrying to Prince Ding. But did you ever thought that when the Wang family is offended, how would your father, me, be? Without this marriage, how will you be able to marry off in the future? It is really one's past life good fortune for me, Shen Wan, to have such a smart and wonderful daughter like you. Shen Wan was a civil official and had a good appearance. Normally he would have a cultured, refined and elegant appearance and all the while he had doted on Shen Yu a lot. It was actually the first time he had shown such a sinister face to Shen Yu. Chen Rikayu trembled as she looked at Shen Yu in her arms and asked, You er, is what your father said true? I, I only wanted freedom. Shen Yu whispered in fear when she suddenly remembered something and raised her head. But Shen Dongling also tempted me. The current attitude that the Wang family showed to us was obviously provoked by Shen Dongling. It was all because of Shen Dongling that slut. Shut up. The more Shen Wan listened, the more furious he got. You yourself is stupid and you still blame on another. All the books you have studied had gone to the dog's stomach. Suddenly Shen Yu's grievance eyes turned red as she had never encountered such a fierce Shen Wan before. Ever since Chen Rikayu heard Shen Yu admitting that it was her who wanted to change the marriage, she closed her eyes in disappointment as she had never expected that Shen Yu would have such guts to do such a thing. But Shen Yu was still her daughter that crawled out of her stomach and had been disciplined for so many years. Chen Rikayu only had this one daughter so when she heard Shen Wan placing the blame, she at the end could not help but said, even though you er is at fault, 
she is because she is not sensible. I think that what Yu Er said was not wrong. Shen Dong Ling deliberately lured Yu Er and one fear that everything today was masterminded by her. Shen Wan pressed on his forehead and the gaze that he had when he was looking at Chen Rikayu was filled with disappointment. Since when have you become unable to distinguish right from wrong? Chen Rikayu was startled and only heard Shen Wan continue speaking. Never mind. Tomorrow I will personally pay the Wang family a visit to apologize. But I also do not know if this matter would be successful or not, as it is our Shen family who is at fault first and if it fails then it is your own creation. Finishing his words, he took a glance at Shen Yu before turning around and brushing his sleeves before leaving. Chen Rikayu was in fear and trepidation with Shen Wan's look of disappointment with her and wanted to say something but Shin Wan had already left the room. Looking at the weeping Shen Yu, she then turned around to comfort her daughter first. Shin Wan left the room and the servant beside him saw that he had an exhausted expression and asked, Does Master want to take a walk outside to relax? It is not necessary. Shin Wan waved his hands. After some thoughts, he then said, Go to the Western Courtyard. The Western Courtyard. Currently it was the courtyard that Chang Zai King was staying at. Dot the servant did not say anything and quietly brought Shen Wan towards the Western Courtyard. These two people however did not notice that there was a person standing far away that was staring at their figures from behind. That person was from Rong Jing Tang, Zhang Mama who was always beside old Shen Furen. Zhang Mama muttered to herself suspiciously. Why is Third Master heading towards the Western Courtyard? The farce in the Shen residence in the early morning quickly reached into Shen Miao's ears. At the time during the separation from the Shen family, Shen Miao had picked a few maids in the second and third households and even Rong Jing Tang. Chen Rikayu's ability to manage the family was inferior to Ren Wan Yun. When Ren Wan Yun was managing the entire household, every single courtyard was as sealed as a metal bucket especially Kai Yun Yu on, making it very difficult to insert a snitch. Now that Chen Rikayu was managing Shen residence, it was like a sheet of loose sand. In addition, the Shen residence income and expenses were suddenly reduced, making the servant's life more difficult than previous times. Moreover what she wanted to ask was not a secret or confidential matter. It was just some small and big matters that happened in the Shen residence and it could be heard by asking only a little about it. After the second household of the Shen family declined, the third household was the one supporting the Shen family. Chen Rikayu would normally put up the mannerism of a matriarch in charge, and Shen Yu was the only branch in the thriving tree, as she had no other sisters to fight with. One did not know that if it was because one had lived too long in peaceful days that one's mind was not used. For this instance this chess move of Shen Yu's was very terrible. After the incident, Shen Wan really went to the Minister of Land, the Wang family, personally to apologize the second day like he mentioned. One did not know what kind of rationale he had prepared, but it was most likely that he would be tactfully pushing all the blame on to Shen Dongling, who knew that the Wang family would give Shen Wan a vicious slap back. The Wang family did not accept Shen Wan's apology and the people in the Wang family did not acknowledge Shen Yu. They absolutely said that Shen Dongling is the daughter of the third household and as for Shen Yu, they did not know her at all. Shen Wan was very embarrassed and could see that the other party was deliberately making things difficult for him. It was also very clear that the Wang family already knew that the matter of the exchanging of brides was brought up by Shen Yu so they embarrassed him on purpose. Shin Wan thought that with the virtue of his friendship with the Huang family, he would be able to get through it, and at the end the Huang family would exchange Shen Yu with Shen Dongling. However this time Shin Wan had guessed incorrectly. Finally at the end, there were two solutions to resolve it. First was that Shen Dongling would be married in with Shen Yu's identity and the real Shen Yu would no longer be seen in the world in the future. Naturally Shen Wan was unable to accept this. Thus there was only the second option. Shen Yu would also be married into the Wang family, with the status of a Pinchi, aka equal wife. Because Shen Yu's and Wang Bai's marriage had involved everyone, 
Thus this time the real marriage of Shen Yu would not be done big, everyone would think it is a Shu daughter who gets married, thus it had to be done in a low-key manner. This solution almost made Shen Wan brush his sleeves then leave. It was not that there were not such incidents in the Ming Chi where at the end a Shu daughter waited upon one husband. However, usually it would be the Di daughter that would be the wife and the Shu daughter a concubine. But what the Huang family suggested was Pinchi, aka equal wife. In order to pull the wool over people's eyes, Shen Yu had to marry in as a Shu daughter identity and Shen Dongling, who was a Shu daughter, had stolen the honor that Shen Yu had rightfully deserved. This was humiliation. Shen Wan had flatly refused but the Huang family was resolute in their attitude. It was after all the bride and not the Huang family at fault. And now Shen Dongling and Wang Bai were getting along well, thus they did not really care about Shen Yu. The Wang family could stretch it out but Shen Yu could not. The longer this took, the one who was in a disadvantage would be Shen Yu. Thus even though Shen Wan was somewhat hesitant, and quarreled a number of rounds with Chen Rikayu on the matter. When Bei Lu was relaying the matters of the Shen residence to Shen Miao, Shen Miao had an overjoyed expression. Shen Miao had always been calm and one had rarely seen her laughing so much, as if she was really very happy. Young lady finds this interesting. Bei Lu said, this time second young lady really lifted a rock and smashed her foot, and had created so much trouble for nothing. It really caused third master to have a headache all day. If it was me to say, it really third young lady that had a bargain. Shuang Zhang said, not only third young lady has the status of a furin of an official family, she also currently have the entire Wang family's care and she even brought Wan Yi Niang over to stay. It is indeed impressive. This might not be accurate to say. Bei Lu shook her head, if at the end second young lady marry into the Wang family, both of them will be Pinchi, aka equal wife, but Di and Shu are not equal. Third young lady only has a yin yang but second young lady have third master as her maiden family. Thus the Huang family would be biased towards second young lady a little. Third young lady is currently pleased with herself but the days are still long. Shin Mia laughed as she spoke. Wrong. Third older sister is a very powerful person. Bei Lu and Shuang Zhang looked over at Shen Mia at the same time. Shin Mia said, even if Shen Yu really married into the Wang family. She will certainly be unable to compare to Shen Dongling. I think that the reason why the Wang family is so cold in their treatment to the third household, is definitely because the Wang family knows that the matter of the exchanging of the marriage was masterminded by Shen Yu. One ask if any male in the world would like a wife who despise them. Even the male's dignity would not allow it to happen. Moreover with Shen Yu's and Shen Dongling's personalities, once they were married into the residence and before they give birth, the only thing they can rely on is Wang Bai's love and favor. Unfortunately, Shen Yu has already lost. Shen Yu is unable to gain Wang Bai's love and favor, thus one fear that Wang Bai would not even let her give birth to a child easily. Even though there is a difference between Di and Shu, but both are the same rank as Pin Chi, aka equal wife. Whoever give birth first would naturally be the one who makes the call. Shen Miao said lightly, not to mention, with Shen Yu's brains, how would she be able to fight with Shen Dongling? Shen Dongling could currently collect all the dirty water that was thrown to her and completely return it back. How would such a powerful person like her be defeated under Shen Yu's hands? Bei Lu and Shuang Zhang were in a daze as they listened. After a moment Shuang Zhang spoke. It seems that third young lady is a powerful one. The only one that has a little prospect in the Shen residence, is only her. Shen Miao said, help me to grind the ink. Bei Lu went up to look for the ink stab before grinding it as she saw Shen Miao spreading the paper out like she wants to write something. Bei Lu said, young lady want to write a letter? Shen Miao declined to comment. Naturally when Shen Yu created such a big wave herself. Shen Miao was very pleased that she had sowed the seeds she planted. But Shen Miao had not forgotten that the third household played a lot of parts in the extermination of the eldest household of the Shen family in her past lifetime. One day she would demand the big gift back and throw the stones when one was in the well. Not only did the second household would do it, 
she would also do it. She did not want to take action personally from the beginning to the end. But if the third household want to push themselves into the road of death, she would not mind to let the third household walk faster. Shin Wan and Chen Rikayu were quarreling all day and at this time, one would need a consolation of a confidant. It was time for Chang Zai King to go up the stage.